What's up again, everybody? This is Jose Gagnon, the super random guy, here again today. We are now doing episode 18 of season 6, Percy's Chocolate Crunch. So we're going to keep the things rolling. You already know that things go here, everybody. Let's get it rolling right away. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully you're enjoying, you know, the rest of season 6. And we basically just got a couple more episodes left to do. We got, like, eight more episodes left to do. And then we'll finally be done with season 6. So let's just keep it going. And just never stop, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah, mans. You know how it goes here, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah, mans. The fat controller's engines love being shiny and clean. It makes them feel cheerful as they puff across the island of Sodor. Percy often has the dirtiest work to do, but he likes to be clean as well as any other engine. So washdowns are important to Percy. But the fat controller had bad news. Due to a water shortage, he said, no engine shall have more than one washdown a day. Usefulness before cleanliness, he added and left. Percy was upset. I get dirty, he complained. I need washdowns. Gordon only does it to feel important. I am important, Gordon sniffed. I'm an express engine. You're a pouty puffer, Percy, teased James. No, I'm not, wished Percy, and he chuffed away. I kind of feel for Percy, you know, you know, just always having to, you know, do so many dirty jobs and just always getting super dirty, like, you know, so many days. And then, you know, you're just so anxious to be nice and clean and feel good because, you know... That's what everyone likes, you know, is to just feel nice and clean and fresh. Because, you know, when you're clean and fresh, it makes you feel better, you know. But, you know, since everybody else is just, you know, crazy, you know, you, you know, being at the wash down, like, you know, especially Gordon, who, you know, just, he, like, you know, he gets a wash just because, you know, he just wants to, like, even if he doesn't get dirty at all. Which I don't, which I don't really understand why, you know, they let, they let him do that in the first place. But, you know, like I said, I just really feel for Percy, you know, you know, just doing all these crazy, dirty jobs for so many days. And then, you know, you just got to, <clears throat> you just got to, you know, uh, what you might call it, you know, you know, you're just trying to get yourself clean so you can just, you know, feel amazing, like, you know, on the inside and the outside. Because that's how, you know, it always is, you're like, you're always feeling amazing, you know, after you you know, get washed or get cleaned. It just, it just, it brightens up your spirits, pretty much. Percy was loading trucks at the docks. He was trying extra hard to stay clean, but the troublesome trucks were being naughty. As Percy pushed them under the coal shoes, they mm. sang out. On, 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 they cried. Percy found himself under the chute and coal dust flew everywhere. Oh, no, coughed Percy. I'm filthy. Percy felt awful, but he knew he had to carry on. On the way to Callan Station, the troublesome trucks teased Percy even more. Clickety-clack, don't look back. Dirty Percy's on our track. Be quiet, Percy snapped. When Percy arrived at Callan Station, he was very upset. From now on, I'm only doing work where I won't get dirty, he said. Harold, the helicopter, was at Callan Station picking up medical supplies. Hello, Percy, he called. And he took off, blowing cinders and ashes everywhere. Not again, Percy cried. I want a washdown. Usefulness before cleanliness, reminded his driver. I want to be useful where I can't get dirty, Percy huffed. 
There's a load of sugar going to the chocolate factory, his driver said. We could take the sugar trucks. Sugar, said Percy. That's nice and clean. Percy was pleased. <laughs> Percy didn't know that earlier a leaky truck had spilled oil on the track. At least you know he found something that you know won't get him super dirty, even though he's gonna get himself super dirty anyway, as we're as we're about to see here in a couple of minutes. Cause you know he just wasn't having a super good day at all. Like, like you know, matter you know what he tried to do, he always got super dirty, and now he's gonna get even more super dirty. Cause like you know. The Michelangelist man said, some, you know, there was a truck that had spilled oil on the tracks and, you know, Percy's going to, you know, slide on that oil and he's going to crash into the chocolate factory pretty much. Sorry I spoiled it, but yeah, that's pretty much what's going to happen. But I, but I don't think you, act, I don't think anyone, any of you are actually worried that I spoiled it anyway, so it's pretty good anyways. When he approached the chocolate factory, his driver applied the brakes, but Percy's wheels just skidded on the oily rails. Oh no! Hooted Percy. Yuck! He groaned. I've never been this dirty. He was covered from funnel to firebox in sticky, gooey chocolate. Back at the sheds, everyone thought it was very funny. You look good enough to eat, Thomas hooted. Pudding, Percy, teased James. Chalk ice on wheels, chipped in Henry. Disgraceful, said Gordon pompously. Ahem, said a stern-sounding voice. It was the fat controller. You have had a trying day, Percy, he said. Yes, sir, replied Percy from beneath the chocolate. But you've shown us all that usefulness does come before cleanliness. So, he added, you shall have your wash down. Oh, sir, and a new coat of paint. Percy. So now at least you know after the whole horrible day he's had, you know, of getting super dirty. He finally gets to, you know, you know, be cleaned up and feel super amazing again. You know what I mean? So that was episode 18, everybody. We hope you enjoyed. Like, like I said, we just got eight more episodes left to do. And then we'll finally be done with season six. So get the greatness, everybody. Have the amazing happy times every single chance you can you're able to. And we're just gonna keep it rolling here with the Thomas the Train season six commentaries and finish up these last eight episodes. Yeah yeah. See you around everybody. Keep it rolling now. Yeah yeah. Whoa! Yeah man. Just keep it rolling and hopefully you're Gonna be so happy that we're finally gonna be finishing up with season six, everybody. See you next time. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Yeah, man.